Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 3 of Let's Play Golden Sun The Lost Age, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, we made it to this town called Dela, and thanks to that whole flood or tidal wave earlier, and the island crashing into the peninsula, now we have ourselves some salt water all across the town. Before we move on, I might as well set some uh, shortcut synergy. Let's see, I'm gonna put mine read to R. Well, actually, I'm gonna do that right here. There, now I got R for mine read. And as for L, we'll have move. There we go. Didn't it feel like all of Indra moved when that wave hit? Uh, no. Wow, the wave must have knocked you silly if you didn't notice it. Uh, yes, we were unconscious. Thank you for noticing. Thank goodness for that mountain rage to the north. If that rage weren't there, we would have been washed away for sure. Yes, you should count your blessings. What the hell is that guy doing? Oh, that wave knocked me over and now I can't get up. I must have been born to suffer. Oh, you are so emo. Get over yourself. Nobody cares about your issues. If you're looking for a boat, you might check in Madra. Head south, and then when the road forks, follow the path to the east. Uh, might as well check some barrels, because I can, and this is Golden Sun kind of games, you have to check everything that's there. You know, just in case you want to find three coins. If you head south, you'll find a fork in the road. Take the road west, and you'll hit the Kandorian Temple in no time. I wonder if the holy man at the Kandorian Temple is as powerful as they say. I actually forgot to keep using Mind Reader as Shiba. You know how to do that for everyone? I wonder how the road to Madra is holding up after that flood. The ground was always pretty soft around there. I'll have to keep that in mind. Alright, Emo. Let's read your mind. My hip's killing me! And all that woman cares about is how muddy my clothes are! She cares more about the laundry than she does me! You're really depressed. No wonder you're like that. The sea god must have saved us from the wave. It's good we have a shrine honoring him. Yeah, the sea god put those mountains there. It had nothing to do with plate tectonics or the earth or anything. That must have been one serious wave to make the whole continent move. I didn't even know continents did that. You'd be surprised. There's a lot of things continents don't tell you. Travelers, well, I'll be. Do you have a lot of time and nowhere to go? Yes. Then I suggest you visit the Kandorian Temple to see Master Poi. He performs great feats, but I'll warn you, he might not let you in. It seems very encouraging. Travelers with nowhere to go. This is bad. I hope they stay out of the shrine. If they anger the Sea God, there's no nowhere they could hide. Not anywhere in Indra. Challenge accepted. Okay, I see some kind of strange stone. And there must be the Sea God statue right there. But I can't get to it. Well, I guess I can just leave it alone and come back to it later. There has to be a way somehow. With all the salt water on the ground, what will happen to our crops? A lot of things. Not many of it good. We were hit by a gigantic tidal wave. But there were no injuries! It was miraculous! That wave turned this place into a swamp! Everything smells like brine! Even my farts! I saw a bright light in the northwestern sky earlier, somewhere near Gondolin. It was right before the tidal wave. I wonder if there's a connection. Yes, there is. But you wouldn't understand. I thought I saw some lights in the northwestern skies. Maybe I just imagined them. Well, obviously he was talking about the Venus lighthouse when it was lit. In case you don't know. Ricky's really in for it when he gets home. He's been out playing with his friend for days. Days? Ricky, Tavi, where are you? What are you up to? Well, thinking about it's not going to do any good. That no good kid of mine. Taking his father's fishing pole. I mean, really! If he doesn't get home soon, he's really gonna get it. 
Oh, kids are disrespectful in this game too? Jeez. That Taffy's a bad influence on Ricky. Just because he lives next door doesn't mean they have to be friends. Hey, 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 hey. They can be friends, okay? How many other kids are around here anyway? I doubt there's very many. Hey, can I check that bucket? No, I did not want to talk to you. No, I can't check the bucket. Huh, smoke bomb? Who hides these in here anyway? Like, who needs a smoke bomb in a place like this? I don't think I'll talk to that guy over there. Huh, you want a boat? Yeah. What kind of insensitive jerk are you? Uh, the one who answered your question to do you want a boat? Everyone knows all our boats were destroyed by the tidal wave. Why did you ask? You were just asking for it. <sighs> Idiot. That ancient tower to the east is the shrine of the sea god. Listen, if you're not into being cursed horribly, you should stay away from there. Don't tell me what to do. I can't believe those children play in the shrine. It's dangerous. It will only bring them misfortune. Maybe they want misfortune. Yay! Puddles in the village! Yay! Am, am I talking to this guy while he's in midair? Oh, that's pretty cool. Yay! We never get puddles like this! Not even when it rains! Well, you should be very proud. Enjoy the salt water. Blah! I fell in a puddle and my clothes dirty! Mom's gonna have a fit! Ugh, this water's salty! You shouldn't drink it. Well, unless you like high sodium in your diet, the water is for you. Is there anything in this pot? Oh, it's an herb. Or jar, if you're too specific. The wave was awful, but the noise that followed was even worse. The shock alone could probably destroy the road to Madra. I still don't know what that sound I heard was. With everything that's been going on lately, I'm still a little bit edgy. Well, take the edge off. Get yourself a hot bath. Preferably not in that salt water. A lot of talks said they heard a terrible rumbling from the southeast. If you ask me, it was a road to Madra crumbling to bits. Well, so much for easily getting there. We should find a different way to get to Madra. That shoddy road's a mess. Between the pirates and the tidal waves, this town has the worst luck. Now that Briggs has been arrested in Madra, maybe our luck is changing. Briggs? Now that Briggs is locked away, we shouldn't have any pirate trouble this year. Of course, that tidal wave did more damage than those pirates ever imagined. See, pirates aren't so bad compared to Mother Nature. Nothing in here. Oop. Monies! Ah. Piracy for the win. In all my years as mayor, I've never seen a wave like that before. I'm grateful that nobody was seriously injured. You're not that grateful. At least nobody seems to have been injured too badly. Maybe I should make another inspection later. Uh, you are the mayor. That would be a good idea. You know, check on the infrastructure of the place, and the people. He's still shaking. Our village survived the wave, but all our boats were destroyed. We won't be sailing for a while, but we'll pull through somehow. No, we won't. That wave was brutal. It smashed my blow boat to splitters. Oh jeez, Shiba only got 39 PP left. I've been reading a lot of mines. More than Cosmopolitan. At least they say they do. Uh, anything in these barrels or boxes? Let's see. I gotta see if I can get some more money. I don't think I have that much. Uh, armor? I'm gonna make that top priority. Uh, let's see. Should I buy, like, some travel vest? Okay, that'll go good on Felix. Yes. I'm sure that is pretty good. Get this for... Is there anything else for Jenna? 
Well, I'm better off with a travel vest. No, 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 I, I meant yes. Um, did I accidentally buy a second one by mistake? <sighs> yes, I did. I said no when it came to equipping. Derp. Well, that might set me back. I hope it won't be too much. Oh, only one person can get the shield. It's all right. Better than gloves. And a leather cap. Okay, two people can wear this. Okay, let's see if I have enough money for weapons. I only got 73 coins. Hey, what's up, Roger Federer? Nice mustache. Okay, I don't have enough for any weapons. And Felix is gonna go up by six. The short sword will go good for Jenna, and that'll go up by four. And Shiva cannot equip that. So I only need to buy two weapons. That's gonna have to wait till later, unfortunately. Okay, what kind of gear? Uh, let's see, I suppose I can get some herbs. I'll only buy two, though. I wonder if those two are still out there. They know it's off limits. Do they care? I can't believe those losers were inside the shrine when the wave hit. If Ricky and Tavi want to be idiots, I say let them. Ricky and Tavi sure aren't late. The Shrine of the Sea God stopped the wave, but I'm worried. Ricky and Tavi were playing in there, and I'm too scared to tell anyone. I'm sure they'll find out, you know, when they're carrying their bodies back. And then what? Sleep bomb, nice. We run a very small inn, so we make do with just the two of us working here. Look at all these guests. We need more help, but how will we afford it? You'll find a way. Just keep working on it. I don't know when I'll be able to return to Madra. I sure miss the food there. Really, just the food? After all that shaking, I wouldn't be surprised if the roads were unusable. I wonder if the seafood in Madra is wonderful. I wonder what kinds of fish they catch in Madra. I'm so torn. Do I like my fish grilled? Or do I prefer poached? It's hard to say. Why is life so difficult? Uh, first Indra problems, perhaps? Six coins? I can live with that. It's not exactly a lot. It's probably gonna be like, uh, two coins per person? That's very cheap. Actually, come to think of it, I suppose I can sell some things. But what exactly do I want to get rid of? Well, I don't really use smoke bombs. And I don't use sleep bombs either. And guess what? Wait, wait, it wouldn't stick. I can sell that too. Okay, I won't be able to buy the long sword, but at least I can get the short sword. Then I'll help Jenna catch up. Game ticket? Uh, Shiba, you hold the tickets. You're a good girl. Uh, I suppose I can leave now. If I want to, I can always train to get enough money for that sword for Felix. Hey! You look like you already know a little about us, huh? Well, I did LP Golden Sun one, so yes. See? You know all about us. So you must be an adept! Huh? Even I know that! You look like you're new around here! Embarking on a dangerous journey in a strange land? I thought so! Well, I'm looking for my companions! We were parted with Mount Aleph erupted! Would you mind helping me find my companions? Come on! Take me with you! I'll even lend you, you and your allies my powers! You see... The more gene you have with you, the more powerful your synergy becomes. 
all you have to do is set us and then unleash us in battle. If you gather a bunch of us, you'll have all that power at your disposal. So, what do you say? Will you be a pal and take me with you? No. Oh, come on! I promise I won't be a bird and eat all your chips or anything. No. But if I'm with you, you'll be all kinds of strong. No. Wait, that's not it. There's more. Your allies will develop exciting new abilities. No. And I'll be your best friend ever in combat. I'll be all over the bad guys. I promise. No. What? You want to see me beg? Fine! I'm begging! Please! Let me join your group! No. You just don't get it, do you? I'm not used to being ignored, you know. Take me with you! No. Don't be a meanie, okay? Nobody likes a meanie! I'm serious here! You don't really leave me behind, do you? Uh, yes I do. Oh, alright! That's the way you're gonna be! Fine! I'm coming with you anyway! Well, I never really had a choice, I just wanted to see all that dialogue. While I'm here, would you like me to give you a quick explanation about Jean? Nah, I'm fine. Well, that's it! Now, we're pals forever! Oh yeah, if you want to learn more about Jean, refer to the help, okay? That's select, by the way. You and your friends should make sure you get the most out of us, Jean. Well, of course, the more Jean we get, the better. So we got ourselves our first genie. Which will be for Felix, of course. Alright, let's go get it activated. Or set it first. Increase my stats. So Echo has the effect of unleashing in battle, attack with a double strike. That's pretty cool. Okay, and if you hold R and then hit select, you can set all or put all on standby in the event you have multiple Jean. Trust me, this will come in handy later on when you get tons. I might as well save, but I'm not going to stop yet. What I'm going to do is head over for Kandorian Temple, which I believe is to the south and to the west. So if I go west this way, I should be able to get to it. I'm not going to worry about that long sword, but once I get 200 coins, I'll probably just head back. Damn, Wild Wolf and two punch adds attack us. And they get the first strike. Let's try Quake, Flare, and you go with Ray. We'll go with all synergy this round. I'll admit, the battle music here is actually pretty good. I don't know if it's better than the first Golden Sun's battle theme, but I'll leave it up to you guys. Do you really think this battle theme is better, or is Golden Sun 1's battle theme better? You can just leave a message in the comments to give your opinion, and I think I just took the long way. Didn't need my synergy that time. Oh well, we're going this way anyway. Ah, we made it to Kandorian Temple. Hey, what's up? Have you come to see Master Poi? Yes. The Master will see no one. Leave now, and do not return. How rude. I do not understand Master Poi. If I were him, I would allow more people to enter. Instead, I must turn away the very people who would benefit from his teachings. Once the period of meditation has begun, None may enter the temple grounds. Master Poi's teachings require absolute concentration. I was hoping to hear Master Poi speak. Instead, I got the guard duty. How oh, boring. Eh, poor, poor, pitiful you. Okay, this is a very nice looking temple. It seemed like something you would see in India, Thailand, places like that. This wall looks rather suspicious. Wouldn't you say, Felix? Well, if you've seen walls like this in Golden Sun 1, you would know that Whirlwind takes care of them. There you go. Fantastic work, Felix. Keep a watchful eye for any strange looking areas. That's right, Shiba, I take all the credit. 
Okay, I'm gonna stop the video here. Next part, we're gonna see if we can infiltrate Kandorian Temple. I'm sure they're quite peaceful. See you later.